just turned on my Uber Eats app and now I got an order. Today is gonna be a busy day. It's Friday, it's about, I don't know, what, 5.30 p.m. And I got an order from McDonald's for about $10. Heading towards Loma Linda from Colton, and I'm just still driving back to Colton. Actually, go this way. It's definitely not the area I want to be at, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Colton's not too bad compared to San Bernardino. See how it goes. See how much money we can make from five to eight o'clock, maybe nine o'clock. Let me turn here. Oh, I, I know where the McDonald's is. Somewhat new territory, but I'm cool with it. I gotta expand my horizons, anyways, right? Alright, let me go ahead and pick up this order and then I'll get my thoughts together on what topics I can bring up or how my week has been going. Alright. You guys, the app wants me to take the freeway. Ain't no way I'm taking the freeway. I'm taking the streets. Last time I was able to kind of open up Google Maps or Apple Maps, and this time it wouldn't let me. Luckily, I know the main road is to go down Mount Vernon. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And take that way. I mean, I wish I can, uh, I don't know. I, I wish I could take the freeway, but I can't. Oh well. It's all good. need to figure out how or maybe talk to somebody maybe check out a uh, reddit go on reddit and see see how I can uh, just change it to the bike way but I don't want the customer to think I'm taking a bicycle taking the freeway instead of going up and to the left making an entrance to the freeway I'm gonna be making a left right here and going down this road Busy going down this road. 
road right now. Okay. So now that we got that covered, I do want to bring up what my plans are tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to make a video on it. I'll try. Maybe do some updates, but... I need to hit like 45 to 50 miles an hour on this thing. So I'm going to upgrade the intake, rejet, and muffler tomorrow and probably add the roller weights. Just so I can be able to keep up on roads like these. It's manageable, but I feel like I need more power more speed. So that's my plans for tomorrow. Maybe if I wake up early enough to do uh, a couple of trips, some deliveries. I mainly want to upgrade my my bike. All right. I don't know what the hell Uber's problem is. Oh shit. But it took me like way across the city. I don't know if because that was because they ordered from that McDonald's specifically or it just chose that location. But it took me way to howl over here to the one of the ghettoest parts of San Bernardino. Um, the lady was nice though. So that made up for that. But yeah, now I'm way over here in the far end of San Bernardino, where I was trying to avoid. So now I, I paused my, my app so I can get my ass way over to Loma Linda. It's like the worst, shittiest part. I mean, there's worse areas too. It's it's all fucked up over here. But I'm getting the fuck out of here. Just a bunch of assholes out here. But see, there's a McDonald's like right up the street from here. I don't understand why the order took me all the way over here and tried to take me to the freeway. It's like, what the hell? I don't want to be over here. So that's, that's my day. That's my first trip of the day, actually. I'm not, I'm not doing any other trips over here. Look at this lady, I don't know if you see. But I'm definitely gonna head my way back to Redlands. If I have my trip meter on, oh man, I'm stuck over here. Right now I'm on Highland Avenue, D Street. Yeah, this is not a good area. This uh, other guy I watch on YouTube goes by the name of uh, Baker X Derek. He's always riding around in his Grom or some other motorcycle he has. And just kind of gives you a show of 
what it's like out here in San Bernardino. And it's pretty entertaining though. I like to watch this stuff, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do what he does. One, I'm not I'm not funny. Or at least not as funny as that guy. And two, he goes like to areas where I wouldn't want to go. But it's cool. I enjoy his content. If you guys want to see who I'm talking about, I'll, I'll put it in the description. But anyways, let me get to where I want to be. And I'll be back. Made it back to the nice part of San Bernardino and waited right now. Got everything set up, char charging my batteries for my GoPro. And now I'm back where I want to be. I gotta remember Dave's hot chicken is, oh yeah, it's this way. Pick up some hot more, more fucking chicken. Drop it off in Colton. I believe it's in Colton. So, I changed some settings. I only put my limit to like four miles away. I changed the app for the location to see where it's gonna go. I just realized too, like a dummy, that right before you accept the order, it tells you where you're at, the location to pick up, which isn't too far, and where are you dropping it off to? I guess they're stopping. Okay. So yeah. That's uh, that's something I need to keep an eye out on. All right. Anyways, let me go pick up this chicken, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, I think I figured out the navigation part. I just put it back to Uber, Uber Maps. And then it gave me the option to open it up in Google Maps. So I make a right. Yeah, so, and this has a void highways feature on it. When I had it to just open up Google Maps, it didn't open up Google Maps. It just used the regular app. So this is cool. This is way better. This is what I needed.
they're going. This this guy doesn't. Oh, it's... It, that's 
leave out the door. There's 110 out there. I'm just gonna pull up to the front and be like, yo, where's 110 at? I'll pull up. Alright, let me look for this spot. Let me make sure I don't get jacked either. Let me show you real quick. See, charging the GoPro battery is right there. It's like half of it. Yeah, okay. I need to get the heck out of this area. I'm not saying this area is bad, but I don't want it to lead me way back to where I first started. I'm trying to head this way. Yeah, this way. So, two trips in an hour. I, I would say like an hour and 15 minutes, $15. Not too bad. I mean, gas is only four or five bucks for this bad boy, so I've already paid my, my gas like three times for $15. But my goal is to pay off everything else I've put into this ruckus. Now I know there's certain things I didn't mean to buy, but I want it. But there are sure, there, there are certain things that I did need to get my setup going. Like my delivery bag was $90. Uh, what else, what else? And another helmet, an open face helmet that I'm using. That's another $80, $90. And that was cheap. Uh, the battery charger, the external battery. I didn't need that if I wasn't doing deliveries, but I need it now. Ironically, I'm using the one that I wasn't trying to use. So that's that. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully some people tip. I'm not gonna try to rely on the tips too much. But if I end up freezing my balls off pretty early, I'm just gonna call it a night. Try to get up early. All right, let me turn this off. Save battery life. <laughs> do a Q&A too. I want to do it like once I get enough people that are in involved. Oh shit. Maybe I should have turned the other way down that street. I think I might. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. That way I hit down Redlands Boulevard. Six dollars, green burrito. Sure. Where am I? 
my heading. Alright. Cool. Green burrito it is. Yeah, this, this I, I want to say Redlands Boulevard is my sweet spot, like like my main road. A lot of food places are down the street. And this is the area I wanted to be in anyways. And I kind of blanked out. Oh yeah, Q&A. Q&A would be good to have. That way I don't run out of ideas. And Doing these Courier Chronicles is a cool concept. I like it. I'm really surprised no one, no one has gotten it yet. That like slogan. But I want to make sure I do it. I have exciting parts on this, and not do like super lengthy videos try to keep it under 45 minutes. Anyways, I'll be back. Well, that was really weird. I showed up and oh. Yeah, it says it says it's for this. Let me call them and see what's up. Well, that sucks. She, well, okay, so the person that ordered, I accepted the order, got to Carl's Jr. and asked, and then they said they didn't, they didn't have anything. So I was like, all right, I canceled it. Then it came up again. So I contacted her and, and told her, like, there's, they said they didn't have anything. I'll try again though. And they said they, yeah, they didn't have anything come up. So I canceled it and I paused my trips right now just so I can get away from that area. I don't want to have to keep declining. Keep declining that uh, same pickup. All right, enough waiting around. Let's get to it, make that money. Let's go. I don't understand how I'm in the fast lane. There's like no cars behind me, but everyone's on the slow lane. Alright. I also noticed with the rate, the weight I added of that giant battery, it slowed me down by like a mile. It's really weird. Well, it's not weird, but it's, you know, it's just crazy that I can tell the difference now. Oh, that was a big pothole. All right, if another order comes up in a little bit, I'll start recording. Or who knows, because it's seven o'clock. I got one more hour. Guys, I did one last order and that was probably like the worst I've ever gotten. It was for the coffee bean and it was like, I forgot how many drinks. They put them in a bag 
and sealed it up. So I just put the items in my bag, like from the bag to the bigger bag, and figured it was gonna be all right. And so I did that. I went to the location it told me to go. I got there. I'm like, okay, it's, it's showing that it's inside an apartment complex. And so I'm like, all right, cool. You know, and then I, I call and I'm like, uh, you know, I can't get in the gate. She's like, I'm not in the gate. I'm in a house. I'm like, oh, okay, so it must be the one right over here. But she's like, yeah, I'm in a brown house right by this trail. All right, cool. Turn around and it's like definitely a, like further away from the location. So I get to the house, I knock, no one answers. The note, the note that they left me was to meet outside on the front door. It doesn't say, it didn't say leave at the door, it just said meet, like meet up. So I called her and I'm like, hey, no one answered. And she gave me one hell of an attitude and she's like, I told you to leave it at the front door. And I'm like, well, that's not what the note says. And then like, she just like hung up. And I get, I guess a timer just, it was like, it was showing up. Uh oh. Oh, ambulance. But a timer was showing up and then the timer went away and it was saying like something about dropping it off and you know and you'll still get paid for it so i said fuck it i'm just gonna drop it off at that house whether or not it's the right location or not and say i dropped it off so i might get something from uber saying that i didn't do my delivery right or, or whatever but i'm gonna fight that because she gave me an, for one she gave me an attitude two she gave me the wrong location. It said it was in this apartment complex. I even saw it. So that was probably one of the worst experiences I've had so far. On top of that, the drinks were already spilling through the, through the little paper bag that it came with that they sealed it up. They sealed it up pretty fucking shitty excuse my language but they they didn't do it right they they suck so now i know not to get drinks from the coffee bean so that was like a three in one for sure like i wish i would have had that recorded but uh it is what it is i still got paid for it but we'll see what Uber has to say. But she was giving me attitude, like crazy attitude. I was like, yo, I'm not, I'm not doing any coffee bean or Starbucks drinks. Forget that. No way. I don't know if anyone else has had it, that kind of experience with with orders whether or not having having a a drink spill oh wait whether or not having a drink spill having a rude customer in wrong location like or is, has anyone even like dealt with that and then what happens when when uber finds out like what what happens then you know do i get like a strike or something either way i, I i'm gonna fight it because i was messed up anyways i'm getting hella cold so i'm heading back home i turn off my app i'm done that was it We'll see. Actually, let me pull up my app. I bet you the cars are going to start moving. 
Yeah, it says $24 an hour. I mean, not an hour. $24 I made. Probably from another tip. And we're actually getting paid for the last one. But ain't no way I'm getting a tip from her or anything at all. That is crazy. And my food bag is all dirty. It's all, it has some kind of hot tea on it. Forget that. I'm going home. Anyways, I guess I'll just end it here. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any tips on situations like that too. Community wise as well. Like, you guys do meetups. Or what? Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next episode.